career, number 10. 2012-2013 season, LeBron led the Heat on a 27-game win streak. Can you imagine if ESPN had been around back then? It would have been on every night. LeBron averaged 27, 8, and 8 during the stretch. Kenny, he shot 58% from the field and, of course, led the team in just about every offensive category. 27 in a row. How are you guys going to fill time without very many sports? Oh, I don't know. How about LeBron highlights? Uh, January of 2012, LeBron going to the rack, uh, just jumping over people, doing math. Toddler was involved. Couldn't stop him on that play. Wayne Wade watching this thing somewhere. He, he jumps over John Lucas the third to finish that alley-oop. Oh, that's, that's the Wade reaction. All right, more of those guys coming. March of 2014 in the long, illustrious career of the Charlotte Bobcats organization, LeBron probably had the most memorable game. 61 against the Bobcats, a franchise record for Miami. He was 22 of 33 from the floor, made his first eight three-pointers. But he did not one dunk in the game, by the way. 61 on the night for LeBron. May of 2013, game one, 2013, Eastern Conference Finals. Down one, 2.2 to go in OT. They give it to LeBron, he goes right to the rack bucket. And that's our show. What's going on here? Paul George, a little overplay. LeBron right past him. He won that game and won the series. It took seven games. And we got even more. Number six, same postseason. Splitters broke. LeBron stuffing Tiago Splitter. Take a listen. Four to shoot. Parker oh, the beat. Oh, what a block from James! Throws it back at Splitter, who is ready to dunk. He would win in seven more on that series coming up. By the way, that's not even the best block of his career. Uh, middle of the second here in 2013 against the Celtics. LeBron throw it down, big man. Jason Terry stood no chance in this play. Uh, at least he made the effort. Yeah. And some guys just step out of the way and let him have it. After the game, LeBron admitted he had problems with Terry, dating back several years. Ooh. Didn't know that. Thero came out. Number four, the LeBron Wade connection. That full court pass. One of the more remarkable passes in NBA history. Full court, one hand on the money for an alley oop. And then, of course, Christmas Day 2013, Wade, LeBron reaching back in those hideous uniforms. Ho, 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 and so. Those two have had a couple of really memorable alley-oops. There's LeBron one more time, cocking it back, throwing it down. And the famous pose by Dwayne Wade, which has been done over and over. Let me make a statue of that. Uh, game 7, 2013, James doing work. 37 and 12. You know what those are. NBA Finals MVP for the second consecutive year. Big Bill Russell. Follow him on Twitter, by the way. Mm. Number two, remember in the 2011 NBA Finals, LeBron didn't play well against the Dallas Mavericks, right? So it's hard to even think about at this point, but he had to go redeem himself, which he did in 2012. Won his first NBA title against OKC. Clinched the championship with a triple-double in Game 5. Finals MVP. He was utterly remarkable in those NBA finals. And this sets the standard by which all LeBron highlights shall be measured. 2012, LeBron in the Heat. Down 3-2. Game 6 in Boston. A lot of pressure. Uh, LeBron right there in your face. Put up 45 and 15. Heat forced the Game 7, which they would win to advance the NBA Finals. Came the second player in NBA history with 45, 15, and 5 assists in a playoff game. Joining Wilt Chamberlain, who was one of the four, but then Jamal Crawford became one of the four.